Hello folks, this is Andrew here, one and only. We are going to be creating a Vanois pattern egg. Vanois, it's French. It's that weird pattern that you see inside bones. Right, so I'm going to be using Blender 2.79. Alright, let's get started. First things first, let's get rid of this default cube. Let's add a nice UV sphere. Okay, scale, Z. So now it's more of an egg shape rather than um, the usual sphere. Let me... Let me squeeze it just a little bit. Now, much better. Okay, I'm going to move the whole thing up. Hmm, hard to see. There we go. So it's a standing egg. I'm not sure if you can 3D print this, but if anybody does, please leave your comments and see if it works or not. Because <laughs> I don't own a 3D printer. All right, so first things first, usually if you create another pattern, you need to have enough um, enough divisions and different lines. But in this case, there's I think there's enough divisions in here for us to do what we need to do. So first modifier you're going to be adding is the, hmm, the decimate. You can use decimate to turn high poly into low poly. So you create decimate and then you would decrease the ratio until you see enough chaos in this egg, as you can see. Um, at the same time, still maintaining the egg, egginess, the egg shape. Second, um, it's okay if it's not perfect. You can go back as long as you don't apply. Uh, we can do some more adjustments later. Second, we're going to add um, a wireframe modifier. Now, what that does, it turns all the lines into solids. Pretty cool. And third, we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. Now, definitely does not look like Von yet it just looks like a bunch of stars. What we need to do is to increase the subdivisions, maybe till three or I don't know four. Well, that's too much overkill. You can leave it as three, and then now we're starting to it's starting to take shape. What I like to do is to decrease the ratio until start looking a little better. Um, so you can adjust the ratio until you find something that you like. If you do increase it too much, then you get the uniform pattern again, um, unless that's what you want. But right now we want a little more chaos. So uh, look at this abstract shape. <laughs> I could put this in a um, modern art, uh, nice sculpture. All right, so I want to decrease it at the same time. Uh, I. I don't want to do too much because I want to preserve the egg shape. So I think this is enough. And um, the next thing is also to turn on smooth because as you can see, the jagged, now it's smooth. Sort of a rough surface, now it's smooth. So it looks more organic. And you can also increase the thickness. So the thicker it is, the better it looks. I, I mean, that's right. So I want to see, okay, that's sort of thickness. And there it is, ta-da! I wouldn't recommend this for for game engines, to use as in game engines. What you can do is to, to bake this into a normal map and then you can use it that way. Because, because if I do, actually I, I'm not going to apply it, but if I do apply it, let's just say I did apply everything. Look at that, look at all the polygons. Huh? It's, it's it's way too many polygons uh, and vertices like 31 what is that 31 thousand okay so if you do want to use this in a game engine instead of uh, 
applying it all the modifiers you can just bake it into a, a sphere uh, a regular low poly sphere and you can bake the normal map and use it that way and so that way you get better performance and the other thing I want to bring up is if you ever add the um, decimate modifier don't do it while you're inside the edit mode because you can't really see it you have to do it in the object mode because as you can see if you go back to the edit mode you can't see a darn thing see so just to let you know and I guess that's it and if you really like this video please add like and subscribe I will be adding more tutorials and also Please leave some comments and suggestions and if there's anything you want to see, let me know. I will do uh, tutorials for both Blender and uh, Unity, um, things that I've discovered that I would like to share. So thank you for watching, bye bye.